My name is Gordon McInnes. I uh, work here at Carolina Beach Counseling uh, here in wonderful Carolina Beach, North Carolina. And today we're going to talk about how therapy can help you cope with uh, anxiety. Well, therapy helps in a variety of different ways. Uh, one, it helps to identify um, real versus imagined causes of your anxiety. Uh, a lot of times it helps you to focus on what kinds of thoughts are going through your head when you have an anxiety or a panic attack. Uh, a lot of times we have these feelings start to come up and then we start to think very negatively uh, about what's going on. What's going on with my body? Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to have a heart attack. I'm going to embarrass myself in some way or fashion. I'm going to faint. People are going to laugh at me. They're going to make fun of me. Uh, this is very uncomfortable. I can't stand being uncomfortable. All those kind of things. And so therapy helps to kind of identify those those thoughts and those processes, almost those automatic thoughts and processes. It also helps to educate people on what anxiety is and what it isn't. Um, a lot of time anxiety, it starts as, it's a brain issue. It starts out as a brain issue. You have um, various parts of your brain, one's called your amygdala, and it's a small almond-shaped size um, portion of your brain that is your early warning detection device. And what it does is it, it basically picks up things from the environment and it starts the fight or flight symptoms. It starts the fight or flight process going. Where, whereas if, like let's say you um, see a bear in the woods, your amygdala is gonna fire off, that's danger. It's gonna give you a shot of adrenaline so that you get prepared to either fight or flight. Well, you're probably not gonna fight the bear, you're gonna run from the bear, okay? And sometimes your amygdala will fire off in situations that there's no bear. Um, and it misinterprets cues within your environment. Well, your amygdala kind of sits next to your what's called your limbic system, which is um, where your emotions are processed, and your hippocampus, which is where your memories are processed. So your amygdala looks at when have we ever been in a situation like this before, what are the feelings that we're supposed to go along with this, and it does it all what's called pre-consciously, or does it before your conscious brain can kick in and say, oh, no, we don't really have to worry about this situation it's already started this whole process going. You've already got this adrenaline rush going. You've already started to have the symptoms. Maybe your palms are sweating. Maybe you feel keyed up. Maybe you're starting to breathe funny. And there's a variety of different physical issues that are going on that therapy helps you to identify what those are and kind of take the mystery out of them. Um, like your heart beating fast. Well, your heart's designed to beat fast. I mean, if you go jogging or do strenuous exercise, your heart's going to beat fast. Um, and people worry that I'm going to have a heart attack. Well, actually when you have a panic attack or an anxiety attack, it's the opposite of a heart attack. A heart attack is when your heart stops beating or just quivers. A panic attack is your heart beating more quickly. Um, and so people worry about, am I going to faint because they feel dizzy? Um, one of the things is, is that you probably won't faint because you're actually raising your blood pressure and you're increasing your blood flow to your brain, which is the exact opposite of what happens when you faint. When you faint, you're decreasing your blood pressure and you're decreasing that blood flow to your brain. When you increase it, um, what's really happening is that you're, you're probably not going to faint. The dizziness usually comes from because you've changed your breathing pattern and you've changed your oxygen and CO2 content in your blood. And so it kind of gives you that dizzy, kind of weird feeling. So again, therapy can help with that. Therapy also helps with managing stress, teaching you how to manage stress, teaching you how to use appropriate relaxation techniques, also helps you to monitor what you eat, what you intake, your sleep habits, those kind of things, because those are all really important in dealing with anxiety. That was just some advice on some various topics related to it.